Polaris Pro R has been one of the largest suspension development programs that Polaris has ever done. So we've had a lot of people working on this. Fox has been a great partner to work on developing a new system like this with, uh, given their uh, history of uh, high performing other technologies. Today we're out working with Polaris, tuning on this vehicle, gotten it pretty good on the hardware side, just doing some fine tuning for comfort and bottoming resistance. To evaluate that, we're driving it through our chatter strip here, our whoop strip, doing some handling maneuvers. We're trying to throw some different electronics changes at it to see which way we gotta go. We've got these custom data acquisition boxes we've built that interact with our vehicle controller and our calibration software. So we went out and collected some data, saw a little bit more roll angle in the corner than we'd usually look for, and some acceleration spikes on airborne landing. For the electronics changes right now, what I'm thinking is that we tune our active pitch control system a little bit differently so that it's adding some compression up front in certain scenarios to prevent bottom out. And then additionally, we'll probably pull a little bit of rebound out in some scenarios to try and create some more comfort. Overall, I think we'll probably end up with some amount of electronics and hardware changes. We want to probably add some more valving to the shock, but in doing so, adding valving to the shock might introduce harshness, so we might want to drill the bodies of the uh, internal bypass shocks to get some of that comfort back. And we're up here in the front part of the trailer where we show where we're doing all of the, the magic sauce or the science of changing shims and valving. We have all the testing tools to take our shocks apart. We can go in and do the job and get right back on. The control system on this vehicle has really come a long way since the original release of Dynamics in 2017. During the development on that, we'd always talked about how it would have been awesome to have rebound control. So we made a prototype vehicle. A concept vehicle to prove out the technology to make sure independent rebound control added the performance that Polaris was looking for. Fox set us up with a set of shocks that had independent compression and rebound damping on it. With that vehicle, we really kind of got the, the workings of the control system ironed out. We upgraded it to a Turbo S, and when we put it on there, we kind of did a different set of development activities and learned further how to control the shocks even better. And then eventually, that made it onto the Polaris Pro R. Independent compression and rebound damping control means that we can control the compression damping of the shock, so the shock getting shorter, and the extension of the shock, the rebound damping, to two different values at different times. So our compression damping can be at 80%, while our rebound damping can be at 20%. They're infinitely variable in between there, and based on whatever the vehicle is doing, the vehicle can monitor the sensors and control the vehicle to have the optimized ride and handling and traction for any situation. We use the shock position sensors to measure shock travel and look at shaft speeds to see what the vehicle's doing over a different terrain to understand what kind of damping changes we think would work. Once the control system was developed and ready to rock, we've really established a good way of tuning these shocks. Typically, we turn off all the electronics initially and we set them to constant values. And we go out and we make sure that the hardware package is set up the way we want. We'll evaluate comfort or bottom out at different settings, but we do that steady state so that we don't have to have the confusion of also tuning the electronics at the same time. In a way, the electronics make the tuning in some aspects more confusing, but it also makes it go really fast because if we want to do a damping change, we can make it in the electronics quick and check and make sure directionally that's the right change. Then we go pull the shocks off, make the, make the hardware change. We want to tune better, we want to tune faster. We want to have more information while we're out tuning. When we put the instrumentation on the vehicles and we get all that information, now we need to bring it back inside of the trailer, go through it, understand what the vehicle's doing in the field. Then we go to our dyno, we can look at the shock. We can see what our shock's doing at exact time of what the, the data acquisition is showing us. Make the changes to the shock, as you can see on all of our equipment here. Put it back on the vehicle and the way we go and ride it again. Once we've got the hardware set, the electronics group and the hardware group are kind of working in parallel. We've got two different vehicles and what we're doing, we're getting the vehicle detections working and the vehicle models working so that this vehicle knows when it's cornering and it knows when it's braking, it knows when it's airborne. And we spend some time getting those damping values in the right spot. So in Baja mode, we've got the right compression damping and the right rebound damping. And when you corner, it comes on to these values and that provides the cornering control that we like or the track 
action that we like. So once we've got a preliminary version of the electronics on that, it's a lot of fine tuning on individual things where we ran this mode through these events and we didn't like this, but then the other mode works this way so we make changes to the electronics to help with that or we can't make the changes to the electronics because it hurts some other things and so we go back after the hardware. Alright, we just got back from trying our change. Uh, seems like the change we made to the bypass hole size as well as the main piston valving got us where we wanted to be for improved comfort without giving up too much bottom. After the change, uh, the vehicle is much more composed in high shaft speed events and jump landings. Yeah, really happy we were able to have Fox out here at our test facility today. Uh, when we're all working together like this, stuff really goes very fast. We got all the brains in one spot and, and we can really get this vehicle riding and handling the way that we want. My role has been a pretty awesome place to be the last few years because Fox and Polaris are both willing to allow us to develop this technology and take it to the next step for the consumer. I'm, I'm looking forward to the most for this to get out into the public so that the consumers can ride it and they can feel it and they can understand how much of an improvement this is over previous models that we've had and really have the optimal ride and handling machine.